Moving on to question six. Calculate the molar mass of naphthalene, the organic compound, and mothballs. Uh, if a solution prepared by dissolving 5 grams of naphthalene in exactly 100 grams of benzene has a freezing point 2 degrees below that of pure benzene. Okay, so first I'm just going to write the equation for the freezing point depression of a solid. Or of a solution, sorry. Okay, so this is delta TF is equal to KF times M. So delta Tf is the temperature difference between the freezing point of the pure solvent and the solution. Kf is the molal freezing point depression constant. And then m, lowercase m, is the molality concentration of the solute. Okay, so for step one, uh, I'm going to find the molality of the solute just by rearranging that first equation. Since the temperature difference was given, and I can look up the Kf value. So. Okay, so the Kf value of pure benzene is 5.12 degrees C over M. And the question said that the temperature difference was 2 degrees. Okay, so if we divide this, we end up getting 0 0.391 M. So the units um, would be moles per kilogram. So these are the units for molality. Okay, so step two is to find the number of moles of solute. And to do that, it is just molality is equal to N solute over the kilograms of solution. Okay, so let's rearrange this. Is equal to 0 0.391 moles per kilogram. So this was our molality that we found. And then the kilograms of our solute is the 100 grams of benzene. So I'm also going to convert 100 grams to kilograms. And to do this, you just multiply, divide it by 1,000. So this is the conversion factor. And then we end up getting number of moles equal to 0 0.0391.
And then the last step is to find the molar mass and to do this it's just number of moles is equal to m over capital m so the mass of naphthalene is five grams and the number of moles we got was 0 0.0391. So then we get a molar mass value equal to 128 grams per mole. Okay, so if we double checked our answer, I'll draw out the structure of naphthalene over here, where I have some space. But basically it looks like this, where you kind of have two six-membered rings, like, fused together. And its structure is C10H8. So if we were to find the molar mass of naphthalene, it would be equal to 10 times the molar mass of carbon plus 8 times the molar mass of hydrogen. So if we were to look it up on the periodic table, the molar mass of carbon is 12.01 and the molar mass of hydrogen is 1.01. So if we were to add those values up, you end up getting 128.18, which is pretty much the same thing as our answer. So we know that we got it right. Let's see what the junior tutor said. To answer this, we use the freezing point depression given to us. Recall that we can calculate the freezing point depression of a solution using equation 1. Delta Tf is the freezing point depression, which is the total temperature difference between the freezing point of the pure solvent and the solution. Af is the molal freezing point depression constant. For benzene, it's 5.12 degrees Celsius over M. And M is the molal concentration of the solute. So to get the molar mass of naphthalene, we solve for the molar concentration of the solute. Calculation is shown below. So then they also did 2 degrees divided by 5.12 degrees over M and got 0 0.39. Then we use the molal concentration to get the moles of the solute. Recall that uh, they mean molality is the moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. Okay, so they also got 0 0.039 moles. Lastly, we divide the grams of naphthalene used by the moles of naphthalene in the solution. So the molar mass of naphthalene is 128. Yep, so this solution is correct. Okay, so moving on to question.